Hey, welcome back. If you've been here before, if this is your first time, welcome. When I started this little vlog, it was still, it was and still is titled The Divided States of America, where I asked the question, who's shaking the jar? There's always some knucklehead that gets up in the morning and makes a grab for the jar and shakes it like nobody, nobody's business. And speaking of knuckleheads, I just recently had the pleasure and opportunity of getting together with the bulk of my family for a long and much needed family affair, celebration of marriage. Which leads me to my topic, family. One of the most versatile and misused and used words in the entire English language, in my opinion. It is often said you can pick your nose. You can pick your friends, not all the time. Sometimes friends just happen, and that's a good thing. But you can't pick your family, or can you? Another saying is, ah, family, you love to see them come, but you also love to see them go away. I've been blessed with a very large family, and I love them all dearly, and I'm always glad to see them when we get together, because these days, due to logistics, we are not as nautically close, nautically close, as we were growing up. But when we get together, we get together when we can. And just like all families growing up, we fought with each other. But we fought harder for each other. And we learned lessons together and apart. This is nothing new, even if your family is functional or dysfunctional. When our family gets together, there's always, there's always extended parts of the family that show up, some expected, some not expected. But we're glad to see them, whomever they may be. At some point in time, we find ourselves flashing back to our glory days where we were sports gods conquering all of sports. And then someone brings up this really embarrassing moment that you or they or whomever thought forgotten and everybody has a great laugh. There's a lot of moments like that and still not enough. Oh yeah, and my wife, she's standing off on the side with my mother, with a notepad like a reporter, getting a hot scoop. I'll hear about this again sooner or later. After each gathering, we return to our respective lives. We never communicate as much as we say, think, or should. But that doesn't mean that our bond isn't just as strong. I always find myself thinking about all the other things that we should have talked about. The meaningful, heartfelt things I should have said. Our lives are full of next times and should haves and tomorrows. Or is it? We say things, we say those things way too often. I'll say it next time. I'll say it tomorrow. I'll do it next time. I'll do it tomorrow. Sometimes, sometimes, today, right now, is your tomorrow. It's always funny when you hear a salesman tell you to come on in. We'll treat you like family. Uh, does he really mean to treat you like family? Look, I've stood on the outside of some families, and the only thing I can say is, 
If you treat family like that, <laughs> please treat me like a stranger. See, family isn't who you're born with. Family are the people who are there for you if you need them or not. Family are the people in your life that help you carry the burdens you struggle with on your own. Most importantly, family is the bond we build and share with each other that make us stronger. And in building those bonds, sometimes, sometimes we share the same blood, but we really don't have to. This country is one big multicultural, multiracial, multi-everything you can think of, and a dysfunctional family of mythic proportion. We have taken and given so much in the name of family and unity in and of this country, yet we are still tearing our family apart. When we, when will this family get to the point where we can just get together, enjoy each other for who we are, and celebrate that no matter who or what you are, we are all family. We are inextricably bound, inextricably bound. To each other no matter where we go from here from the cradle to the grave we will always be family a national family but how we resolve our differences and mend our fences will dictate how our families grow when we're gone so ask yourself who really stands to benefit if this family falls apart, then look in the mirror. Because as much as some of us want to think, it is not you. United we can stand, but divided we will fall. Even the strongest families need to lean on each other. It is not an easy thing to say, I need you. It is not an easy thing to go to your family, whether it's extended or not, in need, no matter how much help you feel like you need. But the strongest thing you can ever do in your life for yourself and for each other is to pick up the phone or knock on the door or go see a friend or family and let them know that they have someone that they can count on. God bless you. See you next time.